I think it's a lot of you know, deep in projects or you know um, uh, web three AI projects. It's kind of like a you know focus on how many nodes they have, how you know the capacity, all that stuff, and then it's like okay, now let's go to market. Um, but but really like you know in order to, like not to waste your time, not to waste investor money. Like figure out, um, even if you don't have the functionality, right? Um, it's running on centralized uh, you know, infrastructure, but we plan to be centralized over time, and you know people actually use it. Like that's a lot more that's a lot more compelling than um, you know uh, something that's absolutely decentralized from day one. You know, it, you got to answer the why. Like why are we building this? And it seems really obvious, but not enough people can articulate that. And 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 also, you know, kind of on the deep end side, which on the Web3 AI side of things, why will people change their behavior to use it, right? We're, we're um, creatures of habit. Yes. We, you know, we, we all complain about Google, yet we still use Gmail. We all complain about Twitter. But, you know, we, so, you know, for us to change our behaviors, there's got to be like a compelling reason. Mm -hmm. And, you know, 99 0.9 percent of people don't care about decentralization. Probably don't even get it. But it's kind of the implications of of the um, decentralization, wh whether it's provable, you know, uh, security and privacy, you know, um, or you know, uh, there are a lot of siloed. Uh, you know, the large internet companies or or tech companies are, are all siloed, and so they all want to build their own platform of their own um, kind of. Uh, chatbot that you know takes like Microsoft wants a Microsoft Office.